Welcome to Anything Is Possible. Today we're gonna to do bait catching. We've been doing a whole lot of catfishing if you've seen our uh, last few videos. In fact, uh, last Friday we didn't even put out a video. Instead we went live. Uh, the flatfish or the flathead catfish have been biting real good so we've been putting a lot of hours in catching some just huge fish. Uh, kids have catfish fever. I've been getting Lyle out. Um, he's been catching some nice ones. Uh, so. You know, what you haven't seen behind the scenes is us catching great bait. Creek chubs, green uh, sunfish, bluegill, um, red-breasted sunfish, just a big mix and assortment of bait. So to do that, um, we've been using primarily jigs. And uh, we use a lot of jigs like this, which th this one here is from, let me do this so you guys can see it a little bit better. That, there are the little jig heads that uh, Dave from Double Hook Angling makes. And sometimes we'll run this under a bobber, sometimes we'll just throw it out like this. And then when the, uh, the, the feathers get torn off, then we'll put like a little power worm. Uh, Berkeley makes those, you've seen us use those. Um, or what we're gonna try today, uh, Sunfish King. If you know uh, his channel, he put on the big uh, Sunfish King winner league where Kevin and I got first and second. And our prizes are still rolling in. Um, so today we got Cast Cray. So this is a uh, Crap Slap Minner Fusions Funky Chicken. 10 of these guys. And you probably see that way better. So it looks kind of like a minnow pattern for crappy. We also got, these are Sub-Zero uh, Zeno's purple. They kind of look like a crayfish type creature. So we're gonna put these on the jigs and then they also sent us a uh, crap slap uh, creature. I'm not sure what that thing is, um, but we'll throw that on something too. So that's all we're gonna do today. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna go down to the creek. Um, gonna try to catch some creek chubs and I'll show you how we keep them alive. And you know, we drive an hour down to the city to fish in the heat, 96 degrees. And uh, you lose a couple fish here and there, but for the most part, our bait's been holding up pretty good. So maybe you learn a tip or two from this. So stay tuned, we'll get on the water. Just a minute. Well, look who showed up, guys. Look who showed up. Star of the show, Kev's here. One of the ways we're gonna try to catch bait today is a uh, minnow trap and for bait i got a pretzel that we threw out of the car last night I'll throw that in here this is our contraption for getting the, the bait down to the creek i mean down to the river an hour drive um, it's a cooler so you got to keep them cool it's 190 degrees 96 degrees out you got to keep them cool so coolers work pretty good for that just drill a little hole through the top. And I got one of these baby bubblers. Um, this takes two double A's and it runs 24 hours on that. So this is awesome to use to keep your bait alive. And then here's our sunfish. We're gonna try to add some chubs today, but really don't need any more sunfish. That's probably enough right there. We've got some that have died that we have as cut bait in the fridge. Um, I just put a little weight on the bottom to keep the bubbler down and then you don't want to scare the fish like i just did keep it closed let them stay cool so they don't get stressed out and um, i mean i wouldn't do this for any extended period of time like 24 hours max without having some type of filtration since i don't have that like this morning when i woke up i came out checked on them um, drained almost all the water and put in fresh creek water so um, that's how we keep them alive. And then we got this yellow trap right here. We're gonna take that down for the creek chubs and try to get some chubs. We had a bunch of creek chubs yesterday in the, in the other fish trap uh, and a snake got in and ate them. 
So we're not going to do that again. All right, guys, we're down behind our house in the little creek. Notice with the time lapse, I snuck downstream and came up because once they see us, they're going to be hard to get the bite. But I see some big ones out there. Let me get a cast in. Oh, you gave me the crappy reel? Got one. There you go. First one. A little small, but let's keep them. This way! All right, fish aren't biting, but that's okay. I'm gonna throw our minnow trap in here. And our minnow bucket. We got some Wawa soft pretzels here. I'm gonna get it all the way up in that current. Placement's important. There we go. All right, guys, we cheated. Well, Kevin didn't. That's a sunfish, I think. We bought some worms. Um, we just moved a little bit further down the creek. Now let's get on them. Got one of Dave's hooks. I'm just going to tip it with a uh, little worm. Chub all day, all day, every day. All chubber. Yeah, baby. That's a, yeah. Keep that. Keep that. That's a problem. That's, that's the one there. I saw. That's the perfect that. size. This one's gonna be a lead as well, right? Ah, uh, that's a keeper. All right, guys, we got a, we got a, our bucket full here. We're gonna run up to the house, and we're gonna maybe try to catch a few more at the bridge. Sort out what we're gonna actually take with us tonight. Let the other guys go. And it's almost time to go. We gotta eat some dinner and roll down to the city. All right, guys, storms just rolled through and uh, we're gonna see what we, minnows we have in the trap. Load the ones up we caught earlier. And we're gonna head to the city and try to catch some flatheads. It's a big question mark tonight with the weather, so. A whole lot of work could be out the window here, but it's the way it goes. It's fun work. Okay, so let me bring up the trap first. I always put water in the bucket first before it's going to get all muddy for me walking in it. That way they've got water if they need it. Oh yeah, it's loaded. But we're not looking for small ones, so we'll see if we got anything worth keeping. Look at them all. There's a good one. Oh, wow. Baby largemouth. That's so awesome. You get back in there, buddy. That is so awesome. All right. There we go. Got our chubs. So we don't need these guys. So you guys are free. You fatten up, we'll get you next time, guys. Now I'm gonna move these guys over to the cooler up top. We got one guy that didn't make it. That's okay, we'll throw him in the bag. Use him for channel cats. If you guys don't know anything about fishing or cat fishing, uh, channel cats prefer dead fish, whereas flatheads like live bait. Gotta move these baskets up the high land because we could get a flood tonight. I don't think I need... I'm gonna take the cooler. I forgot to show you the pour in, but I just poured them in. So these guys are ready to hit the highway. We got sunnies and uh, chubs. So. Yeah, they were running. They saw it. So we have two largemouth bass in this little spot now. Can't use them for bait, obviously. And you want one out? We are thrilled to have 
largemouth bass in our little tiny creek. So, yeah, hope they do well here. Two hours later. There we go, guys. He's gonna show us how to hold this guy. Ah. It's all right. Woo! You got me. You want me to hold it? Yeah. Oh man, that hurt. <laughs> there he is. Turn your light off so we can see him better. First flatty of the night. Yeah, that's what quality bait does right there, Kev. Hey, bud. Nice. Are you sticking my hands in there? You sure you don't want to try holding them up? Okay, well, I just don't want to get struck by one of those. Hold it. Yep, hold it tight. Hold the rest. Put your other arm around his body. Hold on, hold it back. Oh my god, I'm holding his back. There you go, buddy. You want to let him go? Yeah. All right. Land in the water slowly. Okay. Make sure you get some of these. There you go, guys. You can let go of his mouth now and just control his tail. Think he's ready? Yeah. He's just holding to the kick. He's too hard, Maya. He's like, I need a bigger rest. <laughs> he's so beautiful. How much pounds is that? <laughs> there he goes. Yeah. There's, there's that many pounds. That's how many pounds. Oh my god. There that was a guys. Complete chaos on the show. Look at this. This is uh, catfish number two of the night. Oh, he like threw up all over my hand. Nasty. Like so nasty. All right, guys. Let's let him go. Let's get him in the water here. Oh. Wait till I, uh, yeah. We're running two cameras here. Perfect, yep. Let go of his head when you can. And then hold his tail. There you go. Down to the dark he goes. Awesome, yes. awesome. Good job. All right, let's get the release on this guy. Can you do it without losing my my things? What do you think, guys? He's going to lose my grips? 20 bucks as he loses my grips. Oh, he's going he's gonna to play it smart. his tail back and forth like it would normally go like yeah like that that gets the acid flowing just hold him till he's really ready no no rush he wants to go under the dock you can let him go under the dock if he wants to Feel safe under there. You want to face him up river? If he's if he's ready, you can let him go. There he goes. That's a big chat. That was awesome, buddy. Nice job. Oh, yes. Nice job, buddy. Let me get this rock.